Good morning, Belvedere. Mayor Mike here. Uh, well, we're still in the midst of COVID, aren't we? And things, unfortunately, for us are not getting better at the moment. But I thought it was time that we hear from our, our major players and partners uh, in the city on how things are going and, and, and what they do specifically this morning. I'm pleased to have Pam uh, Lopez Fettis, who is the director of Growth Dimensions with us to tell her what's on her calendar, uh, what's on her agenda these days. There are some very exciting things that she has to talk about this morning. Having said that, here's Pam. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for having me, and thank you for joining us. Um, this morning, I wanted to share with you some resources that are available through um, the uh, state uh, for businesses. As the Mayor indicated, this is a tough time for everybody, especially our businesses. And without our businesses here, um, it's going to be an increased pressure, pressure on the residents. It's going to be an increased pressure on the workforce. Um, so we're trying to develop um, uh, some resources identify resources and develop some resources that are available to the businesses and one is the big grant so they released the um, phase two of the big grant so even the individuals that are um, that had applied before they can apply again uh, for these resources and it all uh, also help you offset your costs um, they are targeting areas that are have some challenges um, uh, some um, being that we're in mitigation we are one of those areas that will be given more priority um, we also have um, uh, and it's also increased um, for uh, individuals that provide services for venues. So if you're in catering, um, if you're in entertainment or any type of uh, services along those lines, you have a higher uh, priority for those um, for this grant. Um, but again, this means that 501c3s, c6s, nonprofit organizations can also apply. Um, again, uh, there's just a lot of resources. Actually, we at Growth Dimensions applied the other day, and it was a very simple process. A lot of it was just having your documentation ready and putting that together. So um, there's also, um, uh, if I would suggest that you go to forwardboon.org to get some information on there. It's basically that one-stop shop to get all the uh, information that you need on uh, COVID and resources that are available. Uh, another resource that we have for businesses is called our Venture Program. This is our entrepreneurial program for existing and aspiring businesses. So let's say, you know, you have a business idea. Maybe you've been laid off. Maybe you're, you're struggling and what to do next. Um, maybe you're an existing business and you're thinking of ideas or ways that you could market yourself better, that you could uh, maybe research a little bit more, how, how you can sustain yourself, how you can grow. Well, the venture program was, uh, a tr part of it is training that we have available. Um, we were given funded through the Kauffman Foundation to deliver this funding and, uh, or deliver this training. And uh, we have sponsors uh, from businesses in our area that sponsor individuals to attend this. Um, even though we're halfway through our program, um, we have 10 people already in the program, um, and we're looking at next f uh, winter. So uh, starting after January 1st, we're looking to start our next class. So if you are interested, if you feel that your business could benefit from these resources, or if you want to find more information about what this training entails, uh, please contact Growth Dimensions. Um, we can be, our contact information is at www.growthdimensions.org. Thank you, Mayor, again for this time, and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Pam. And just to clarify a couple of things, forward boon is spelled out the word forward boon. Um, this program started to come together several months ago, and it is essentially uh, an aid to anyone in business or an aid to the community to share ideas on how we start to move forward We've, we've kept moving forward through this whole thing, and every it seems like every week we get a, a, another challenge. Um, I think it's real important to understand that uh, our economic development as we finally someday come out of COVID and we deal with the economic uh, challenges that are ahead of us, that working together, we're reinventing ourselves. And in the process of reinventing ourselves, we have developed a, a number of um, tools to use. 
and Growth Dimensions has been key in doing those kinds of things. Our relationship with the Kauffman Foundation goes back now seven, eight years. Um, and they are, in a, they are a group that uh, is, an, is a not-for-profit foundation that helps businesses grow and is, is focused on entrepreneurs. And I've had the privilege of working with them for a, for a long time, and Pam has taken up that uh, excitement and enthusiasm uh, for what they can help us do. So if you have an idea, if you're just in a quandary, if you don't know what to do next, if you just need somebody to talk to, call us. Uh, we will point you in the direction of resources we have, and we're good listeners. We can commiserate with you about the things that are going on and maybe find a way to think of something you haven't thought of or you can help us think of something because together we'll get through this thing. Thanks. That's all for this morning. Bye-bye.